This is the second of a series of videos about the Phoenix PLC Next Starter Kit. If you're interested in a powerful but inexpensive PLC, you might want to consider the PLC Next Starter Kit. The RealPars Marketplace now has the PLC Next Starter Kit available for purchase. If you want to order this starter kit to test and run your PLC programs, make sure to head on over to the RealPars Marketplace. We'll add a link to the video description as well. In this video, we're going to take you through the steps of creating a new project and configuring the laptop Ethernet port to a fixed IP address to start establishing Ethernet communication between the PLC Next Starter Kit and a laptop or personal computer. If you haven't already done so, download and install PLC Next Engineer, which is the programming software for the PLC Next Starter Kit. This programming software is free and available for download from the RealPars Marketplace. You can find the link to the website in the video description. Once you're on the Marketplace, do a search for PLC Next Starter Kit and select the Starter Kit from the list. Here on the Product page, if you click on this link, it will take you to the page where you can download the latest version of the PLC Next Engineer. Just a heads up, depending on when you're watching this video, we may have changed the structure of the product description here, but we'll always make sure to keep this link somewhere visible on this page. All right, let's get started. The first thing to do is start PLC Next Engineer. The initial sign on screen looks like this. We're going to click on Help and then About, as we need to collect some information about the PLC Next software. It's a good idea to make note of the software version. That way you can ensure that your programming software is always up to date. All right, as we said earlier, we're going to accomplish two things in this video. First, we'll create a new project. Second, we will start establishing Ethernet communication between the PLC Next Starter Kit and a laptop or personal computer by configuring the laptop Ethernet port and setting it to a fixed IP address. Setting a fixed IP address will assist you later when we take you through the steps to establishing communication between your laptop or personal computer. Let's start a new project. If you've worked on any Microsoft Office products like Word or Excel, you'll notice the PLC Next Engineer folder and file layout is very similar. Starting a new project is just like opening a new document in Word. So, to start a new project, click File, and then click on New Project from the drop-down menu. A folder called Project will appear under a window called Plant. By default, when a new project is opened, PLC Next Engineer automatically assigns the name Project 1. That name can be changed at any time. This is a good time to talk briefly about what needs to be put into the Project folder. First of all, we need to include details about the PLC Next Starter Kit controller. Secondly, we need to ensure that Ethernet communication is properly established between the PLC and the laptop. Thirdly, we will include information about the I.O. modules currently mounted on the starter kit. This third step is referred to as configuring the I.O. and will be explained in the next video of this series. Okay, let's add your controller to the project. You'll be able to select your controller from a drop-down menu. If you can't recall your controller details from the first video, it's easy to find. You will see the model number and the order number stamped on the front of your controller. Under Components on the right side of your screen, drill down through the Network folder to the Controller folder. As your mouse hovers over each controller listed, more details about the controller will be shown. Be sure to select the controller that matches yours. Note that article number and order number are the same things. Once you select your controller, drag it over and drop it into the project folder. Now that we've configured the project to match the controller, let's move on to our second task and begin the process of establishing communication between the PLC and your laptop. Connect the Ethernet cable between the PLC and the laptop. The PLC and the laptop communicate to each other via the Ethernet cable if the respective IP addresses are set correctly. 
So, our first job is to set the IP addresses. Let's start with the laptop. We're going to go through the steps to set the laptop Ethernet port IP address to 192.168.1.1. We're not going to go into a lot of detail about what and why we are making changes and establishing certain settings. Our goal is to get your laptop and the PLC communicating as soon as possible. If you're interested in learning more about Ethernet and IP addresses, the Internet is chock full of information. We are operating in a Windows 10 environment. If you have something different, the following steps may differ somewhat. All right, off we go. Click on the Microsoft symbol at the bottom left of your screen. Move the mouse up and hover over the Settings symbol. Now click on Settings. From this window, click on Network and Internet. Now, choose Ethernet from the choices listed. Over the right hand side of the screen, Choose Change Adapter Options. Right click on Ethernet. Click on Properties from this list. Double click on Internet Protocol Version 4 TCP IP v4. We're getting close now. Make sure that Use the following IP address is selected. Enter 192.168.1.1 as the IP address. Click OK. You can now leave Settings. That's it. You have now successfully set the IP address of your laptop Ethernet port to 192.168.1.1. You might want to write that down somewhere. That should do it for this video. You have created a new project and configured the laptop Ethernet port and set it to a fixed IP address. In the next video, we're going to show you how to establish Ethernet communication between the PLC Next Starter Kit and your computer. Also, you're going to learn how to configure the PLC Next Starter Kit I.O. modules. From here on in, you're going to need the PLC Next Starter Kit to follow the video series with us, and also our students all around the globe. If you haven't ordered your kit, make sure to do so from the RealPars Marketplace. Let us know if you have any questions, or if we can be of more service to you. You deserve a break. Congratulate yourself, and have a coffee.